I'm not telling you guys how to live your life and how to raise your children. Listen, if the shoe fits, wear it. That's not what I'm trying to say. Emotional damage. Hi you guys and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Renee. So I am here today to drop some gems. But first, if you are new here, make sure you like, share, and don't forget to subscribe because why? It's free to do so. So let's get into it. I haven't done a chit chat segment in a while and I feel like it's time that I do that. From time to time, I'll do that if I have something good enough to talk about. But I feel like this topic right here is very, 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 very important. So, before I do that, if you are new here, what I normally do on my chit chat segments is read a quote. So let's do that. So I have a quote today. And it's by Matthew Jacobson. It says, Behind every young child who believes in himself is a parent who believed first. Message! Let me read that again. Behind every young child who believes in himself is a parent who believed first. With that being said, the topic today will be about generational curse. Now, Google it if you don't know what it means, but I'm gonna repeat it again. The topic today is about generational curse. And the reason why I feel like I should do that is because, of course, when I talk to you guys, you know that I normally talk to you guys on a personal level and or about stuff that happened to me and or I am doing because as you know, I am a parent as well. So we have to set an example. I am not a perfect parent. I am learning as I go. My oldest child is 21. My youngest child is four. So I am learning as I go, okay? Um, and in between, I have a mixture of ages. Um, whew. But let's get to it. My thing is, and I was having a conversation yesterday with, 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 with Babe. You guys know him as Bag Juice. What's up? Uh, <laughs> What's up? Of course, you know, my audience, they're right there. But anyway, we were having a conversation yesterday. And to me, as parents, we have to set an example for our children. If we want our children to be a certain way when they grow up or to act a certain way when they become adults, we have to set the trend. And when I say that, children live what they learn. We're noticing that too, especially with our four-year-old. He is like a sponge. The way we talk to him is the way he talks to us. Now, some people would think, oh, he's being rude and you need to pop him because he's being rude. No, we tell him if he's holding something and he, you know, we tell him, put it down. If we're holding something and he wants us to put it down, he's gonna say, put it down. So in other words, you can't dish it out if you don't want the same to happen to you. And I say that because a lot of times as, and I'm gonna use the example as a mom, um, as a mom, if you're living your life a certain way and you have daughters, your daughters are gonna conform to how you do things. Because why? Mommy's doing it, so if mommy's doing it, it's okay. For example, sometimes, and I know this is a terrible example, but I'm going to use it just to send a message. Sometimes as women, if we are in an abusive situation, right? And our daughters see that we are in an abusive situation, what do you think they're gonna do? 
Some kids would do the opposite of that, but other kids is going to try to mimic what mommy is doing because why? Mom is a protector, so whatever mom does, the child is gonna conform to what mom does. So as parents, you guys, we have to be mindful of what we do. We have to teach our children how to behave because again, children live what they learn. Now, in some cases, some people, they will do the opposite of what their parents do, and that's fine. But again, I'm speaking from my personal experience, like I always do. I'm not telling you guys how to live your life and how to raise your children. Listen, if the shoe fits, wear it. That's not what I'm trying to say. Emotional damage. I'm just coming at you from my own personal experience and what I have gone through and is still going through. So if you want your kids to, you know, I'm not saying if you want them to be successful or if you want a certain lifestyle for your children, you have to put that effort forward too. Because again, kids are gonna do what they see their parents do because again, parents are known as the protector. So if you want your child to be mannerable, have a certain demeanor or have a certain tone or speak to somebody a certain way or not be rude or if you are an assertive parent your child is going to be assertive i.e ethan this kid is very assertive like he <laughs> ethan is just something else and again look at who his mother and father is we are very assertive people so if you want if if you want your child to you know be assertive and the child come out assertive again the child is gonna mimic what you guys do also too as dads because i can say that because I, like i said i was talking to babe yesterday about it so i can use that example i said to him when it comes to like a man or a man raising a boy now if uh, if your son sees how you treat mom you know you hug and you kiss mom and you're loyal to mom and you're you know affectionate and you open the door for her and you're courteous to her and you cater to her what do you think your son is going to do he's going to do the same thing right but of course if your son sees you dogging out the mom or not even necessarily the mom if he sees you treating a woman a certain way and you're rude and you're nasty to her then they're going to come and they're going to be just as nasty because again Children live what they learn and they're going to do what they see the parents do. So I came on here today just to do a little chit chat with y'all because I haven't done it in a while and I, I kind of miss that. So I'm going to start to do that more often, but I just had to come on here and tell you guys that being a parent is a very important job and not everybody gets to experience this life as a parent a lot of people unfortunately are not able to you know they're struggling for whatever reason to be a parent so being a parent is awesome opportunity and it is a blessing not an opportunity it is a blessing because a lot of people pay for this they pay for um surrogates or you know they can't conceive naturally they have to adopt and all of that i'm not going to go into all of that but if you are able to be a parent naturally and you're raising children please 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 keep in mind that whatever you do your child is there and your the child is is a sponge and they're going to absorb and they're going to do everything that you do to you you feel like your child is not doing this and they're not doing that and you want them to do this and you want them to do that then you as a parent need to step back and think about it well did i show the, the best example or was i was i the best example or could i have done something else right or could i have done something else this way or maybe this way i do know for most caribbean parents uh we tend to not listen and we tend to be a little aggressive sometimes, hmm. but it's okay to listen sometimes because this generation, they're very smart and we sometimes should not always pull the, oh, I'm the parent, so I know everything because we don't. Um, there's no book on parenting that's accurate or it's not the 
It's not the like end all be all. Oh, well, this book said we're supposed to do it like this or this book says we're supposed to do it like that. Mm, no. Parenting comes, it's like, <sighs> there's no examples of being a parent. Sadly, we just have to go with the flow, but this is why I'm telling you that sometimes when our kids, they have an idea or they have an opinion or, because when I say opinion, again, I'm not using that word loosely, but I am, if that makes sense. If you get it, you get it. If you don't, I'm sorry. We just need to listen. We need to listen because this generation right here, they're very opinionated. What? Opinionated, wow, can I English? Opinionated. Um, they're very expressive. They're not like our generation um, or like our mom's generation or our mom's mom's generation. They're very opinionated. So sometimes we need to just listen. I'm not saying become your, your kid's best friend or become like, you know, timid or, oh, sh oh my God. Um, well, she has something to say or he has something to say. Oh my God, no. Just listen. Because sometimes when we don't listen, things end up in the wrong direction. And you don't want your kids to feel like you're not, you're not listening to what they're going through so in this instant they might turn to other people and you don't want them to turn to other people so listen we teach our kids to be outspoken right and we teach our kids to speak up right so if we're teaching our kids to speak up and the child wants to speak up to mommy and daddy they're not being rude they're trying to express why not listen again caribbean background we don't listen and i'm saying that from personal experiences i'm not going to go into that because i have gone through counseling with my oldest daughter so i know sometimes you need to listen and that was my downfall i wasn't listening because why i'm mom and what i say goes because i'm mom sometimes we need to like relax relax your shoulder <laughs> and allow your kids to speak because we teach them to be assertive and we teach them to speak up. So as long as they're not being disrespectful or they're not being rude, allow your child to speak up. Because guess what? It's too much. And I hate to use this word, but it's, it's just too much going on when, it, when you don't listen to your children. And then it's going to be a whole bunch of shoulda, coulda, woulda. And I should have done this and I should have done that. And I didn't do this way and I didn't do just listen you guys that's all you have to do is just listen but i had to come in here and i had to just drop my gem real quick because who generational curses it goes deeper than that but i i'm just gonna just drop a little piece and the little piece that i'm dropping today for y'all is listen as parents we need to listen and we need to be very mindful that whatever we're doing however we're living Whatever lifestyle you have, whatever attitude you have, how you treat people, what you do in life, all of that. Your child is watching and they are observing and you cannot get mad at your child if they turn out a certain way because again, children live what they learn and it's what they see is what they're going to do. So with that being said, as always, if you got this far in the video, make sure that you like, share and subscribe why because to subscribe it's free it's free it doesn't cost you anything it doesn't cost you anything to like it share it comment and or subscribe so see you guys in the next one and as always thank you for supporting love you bye